Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about the pre and post workout meal myth. That's right. You heard me right. It's a myth. Now, I know so many people have told you you need to eat before the workout or after to basically replace your glycogen reserve or build more muscle mass. So let's talk about each one in depth. Number one, what is a glycogen reserve? You have a certain storage of sugar in your muscle. So glycogen is the storage of sugar. It's in the liver. It's also in your muscles. Okay. It's not a lot. If you were to work out, it's going to be tapped out in about a half hour. Okay. And then after that, you're going to be burning fat. So why in the heck would you ever want to eat anything sweet before, during, and after a workout, right? That doesn't make sense because if the goal is to burn fat, then we have to burn off the sugar before we get to the fat because that's how the body works. So everything after half hour is all sugar and then after that is fat burning. Okay. So the other thing is that if you were going to eat uh, high concentrated protein like whey protein, the more concentrated that protein is, the more it will also trigger insulin. So a whole egg with fat has much less response for insulin than concentrated protein whey protein powder. Okay. So every time you consume more concentrated protein, you're stimulating insulin. What does insulin do? It stops fat burning completely. So every time you're doing the protein, you're actually raising insulin. In fact, every time you eat, you stimulate insulin. So why would you ever want to eat around your workout? See, the whole goal is to use exercise to stimulate your metabolism to then tap into the fat reserves that you have and make your own fat the meal that you're eating not the dietary meal. So I recommend not eating anything before, during, and after a meal. Now, the other point is you need to eat protein to build muscle mass. Now, muscle mass, that what you ate right before the workout or after, it's going to take at least 24 hours to be digested, go through your liver, and end up in your muscles. Okay, Sometimes longer. So if you have this idea that that protein shake is really going to your muscles, it's not. It's being digested and it takes a long time for that to go into the muscles. So you really don't need protein around your workout to build muscle mass. It's the meal that you ate yesterday that's going into the muscles, not during or after the workout. All right. And also, if your liver is overloaded with too much protein, it won't end up in your muscles. So our bodies do really good with, with uh, muscle building if that liver is healthy, if you don't overload it, and you have all the trace minerals that help with the, um, with the building of the muscle. So what we want to do is we want to avoid insulin because insulin nullifies growth hormone. So take a look at this. When you exercise, you induce a stress event that breaks down your muscles, it burns up sugar in the muscles, and then you're going to eventually stop, and then your body is going to recover. During the recovery process is where your digestion is occurring, where your body is building back up, where it's using fat. So if you eat during this process, you are going to slow down your benefits of weight loss and muscle building. And there's some exceptions. I'll get to that. So the point is that the benefits of exercise actually occur 24 to 48 hours after you work out in the deep sleep. So a much better strategy would be to focus on getting a better sleep and not eating anything before, during, and after a workout. Okay. Now, the exception is if you're an athlete. The exception is if you work out twice a day and you're a huge uh, bodybuilder. The exception is if you're doing marathon or long distance running. The exception is that let's say you, you're a diabetic and you're, you're having massive blood sugar fluctuations. Okay. I'm talking about the average person who's trying to lose weight. Okay. Um, so in summary, we, we want to stimulate growth hormone. S growth hormone is the main fat burning hormone that's activated by exercise. When you eat any food for that matter, especially high concentrated protein or sugar, you're going to ins spike insulin. Insulin will then block growth hormone. It's a dominating hormone and it'll nullify growth hormone. So therefore you don't get the effects of muscle building. You don't get the facts of lean body mass. Okay. It doesn't burn fat. So growth hormone is triggered by exercise, sleep, 
and hypoglycemia. So we want to exercise to tap out our sugar reserves, creating a lower hypo effect of our sugar, hypoglycemia effect, not a bad hypoglycemic, but just a lower blood sugar to keep this growth hormone active so we can really benefit from that workout, okay? So I hope this tip helps and I just want you to get the truth about this topic right here. So go ahead, apply this, and I will see your comments below.